Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UFA projects. And in this video, we'll learn how to do SAP BTP destination access in SAP UI5. So you need to have a basic knowledge of destination. You need to have an IDE. We'll prefer to have business application studio as well as web ID will work. And also you need to have BTP access. So remember your IDE or your business application studio has to have connection with your BTP. You cannot have a BTP and your ID with different logins. Same login should work for both of them. And also you need to have basic knowledge of UI file. So there are different types of destinations in BTP. We have already covered new destination. For that we have created a different video. We'll add the video link in the description. In this particular video, we'll focus on cloud foundry destination. So if I jump back to the portal so we have created an article for you and this article link will be shared in the description of the video in this article we have written the theoretical part of why we need a destination in SAP BTP and wh what is the use case of it and also mention the steps to create a destination like visiting our cloud portal using this link then creating a destination like this and adding your data even one SAP but, um, blog is there that is very much helpful in creation of a destination called Northwind. Northwind is a OData service which can be accessed for read operations. And the setup is mentioned here. So we'll also share this link in the description of the video. Okay, fine. So if I go to the cloud platform and destination, you see I have already created Northwind destination. And within this destination, the URL that is being used here is this one so this url will ultimately will not give me you know any data and i will certainly need something after that so the destination use case or requirement is that we maintain the service in the destination in the btv portal and call it via the ui5 application in this way we do not have the issue of curs also our url the, the actual url is safe it is not visible to the actual user so we'll go to business application studio I have created a space here and I am planning to create a UI5 application. For that, I have opened our template. So there are two ways that you can do the destination setup. It is the very first one is like uh, while setting up the application itself, you can have the destination setup. So we'll try to do that. Choose SAP Fury application. We'll have SAP UI5 application. So we can choose that here. It's freestyle and then UI5 application. Now data source here can be both destination or directly with data. So we'll connect to a system. That system is nothing else but our destination. So whatever configuration that we are doing right now for this particular section, it will sit in a file called access app.json. So we'll choose this one and it will ask for the final service name. So I have web ID open up here and I will take the example from my new application. There also I've done the setup. So the very last service is this one. Click next. We can mark it as main view. Let's call it CFF Cloud Foundry application. CF. So that's it. We'll do the finish. Find the application has been installed. And now we'll see what setup is being done. So we'll see the manifest file. 
and you see the versions this particular service is added here in small b that's fine so in case you add the destination information directly during the creation of the project you will see the service is added in the manifest file also in the yaml file of ui5 that is ui5 mock of c or any one of them ui5 yaml also you will see a service will be added so here the destination is added as a service and not in form of you know uh, configurations so here you see destination is added in the backend and the path is provided so everything that you have configured from you know the destination is like fetched here and added here it means it is actually not calling your destination it is calling your this yaml file which in the end is using this url and adding the path this one later on so in this way the destination is configured the value is taken from destination but the deployed application will not be calling destination file anyhow i have added a simple line of code of list i will try to execute this application so when i click on play or you know here also when i click on run and i can choose a lot of different operations so we use the node one and let the node run and the application will load and the data gets loaded so this is the way that you configure destination and that's that destination is fetched from the destination service of btp in the form of a service added in yaml file it can be ui5 yaml or mta.yaml file and that file is there after loading your destination files